Thing. Brent, Bridget, there's a large Jamaican population right here in the Hartford area, and those we spoke with pointed to the resilience of the Jamaican people. Although the storm seemed to be less severe than expected in some areas, neighbors came together to support one another in riding out that storm. An owner of a Jamaican restaurant in Hartford is counting her blessings. Jamaica is a very blessed country, and this time they're blessed. After learning her family in Jamaica is safe. So it was pretty much what they expect. It was um, less severe. Opal Thompson says her parents went down to the St. Catherine area of Jamaica just two weeks before Hurricane Barrel swept through the Caribbean island. Thompson's glad they were in an area that didn't get hit too hard, but pointed to the strength and unity among the Jamaican people in times of turmoil. There was no loss of life, um, which I'm grateful for. They don't have electricity at, at the moment. Um, their internet is down, so that's pretty much it. I think these people of Jamaica, they're very resilient. They did come together um, as neighbors. They work well as neighbors. And I, um, I respect that and appreciate that. A neighbor help neighbors. Another Connecticut resident who is a Jamaican immigrant that became a U.S. citizen during a naturalization ceremony at Duncan Park on Independence Day was also feeling thankful for the safety of his family back home. Well, I haven't spoke to uh, anyone as yet because you know, all this um, system is down. So hopefully by now and later I'll get back in touch. But I don't think there are any losses of life or anything like that. Heavy rain and wind led to more severe damage on other parts of the island. One Fox 61 viewer from Bloomfield sent this video of strong winds taking down a tree in St. Elizabeth where his family lives. As Barrel makes its way toward the U.S., Connecticut officials urge embracing that Jamaican sense of hospitality. Our hearts go out to the people of Jamaica and the other parts of the Caribbean that have been so hard hit by this hurricane. We should reach out to those people in Jamaica and elsewhere that need our help because they have families here. And as you can see behind me now, Beryl is now passing through the Gulf of Mexico and it might strengthen into a hurricane once again as it heads toward the coast of Texas this weekend. And so Texas officials are warning against potential heavy rains and some flooding, urging residents to take the proper precautions ahead of time. In studio tonight, Kaylee Collins, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.